Greetings and salutations YouTube, it's Hedon here. Welcome to a new video. How's everyone doing today? I hope you guys are all doing fantastic. I'm here today with a new video. We're going to be cleaning this beautiful Burberry clutch that I thrifted from the Goodwill for the little price of $10. Yes, authentic Burberry at the thrift. Uh, if you guys want to see the thrifting video for when I found this, I'm going to have it linked up there and down below in the description box as well. But first of all, if you guys love thrifting, thrift hauls, vlogs, handbag rehabs, things like that, definitely do not forget to subscribe. Hit the little bell button so you're notified when new videos do go up. Add me on Instagram. It's Hadrian, just like it's spelled here. And check out my shop. It's Hadrian.com to see whatever for sale from my thrifting adventures. But without further ado, let's hop into this handbag rehab. For, actually, first of all, though, I would just like to make a quick disclaimer that I am not a professional uh, handbag repair leather person at all. These are just things, tips and tricks I've learned throughout the years that I use when I clean my leather goods. And I wanted to share it with you guys and um, maybe it'll be beneficial for some of you. So, we're going to start off with, um, so with <laughs> trying to clean this guy. Um, when I clean handbags or leather or anything, I always start from the least um, aggressive to and then progress stronger as I go um, the more I think I need it so we're actually gonna start off first with my tried trusty and true Cadillac boot and shoe leather lotion I'm gonna have all this stuff linked down below in the description box if you guys want to purchase them and try them out yourselves but this is literally what I use for um, almost every type of leather you can use it for um, coated canvas such as this Burberry pouch this is the same type of material that they use on Louis Vuitton bags and other PVC coated um, canvases so Let's start off with this. I'm going to use this leather lotion and I'm going to use a, a microfiber cloth. I love the microfiber cloths because they are really great at picking up the dirt and stuff. So we're going to just put a dollop of this on here. So this part, the red part of this pouch is leather and then this is um, canvas. So let's start off first. I'm actually just going to do half. So we can see how it looks if we just clean half of the pouch. And that's so I can show you guys like a good kind of like um, representation of how this will look like kind of like before and after. And this leather lotion, you can use it on almost every type of leather. Um, just not like on suede or anything that's untreated because it can darken uh, your leather. But for this, this is kind of like some sort of like coated leather. It almost has like a, almost like a rubberized matte kind of effect on it. So this will be totally fine. And contrary to popular belief, like you should actually condition your coated canvas and stuff like that I am um, because it prevents cracking and can help prevent color transfer as well and this is a leather lotion but you can also you can also clean uh, as you can see on here cleans polishes protects and conditions so um it can definitely still clean a little bit you can see right here i was cleaning i don't know if it's coming up on camera but um Right there. I, I was trying to clean this like a one little area right there. You can see how much cleaner it is than that side. So I think it's doing a pretty good job. But I think like see how dirty this is just from cleaning that. And you can already see that just this side of the leather looks so much better then this side as well, you can see like that line of demarcation. This line is actually perfect because you can see how great the leather looks this side compared to this side. And that is just with like one go through. But um, this seems like it's going to be a pretty dirty like canvas. So to make it a little bit easier, this is also a really great product that I love. Kiwi Quick Dry Sneaker Cleaner. Um, I'm going to have it linked down below, but I think it's actually cheaper if you just go out and buy it at a regular store. They sell these at Walmart, Target, 
I think they also sell them at like CVS and Rite Aid. And this is the Kiwi Quick Dry Sneaker Cleaner. This is good on um, almost all types of leathers and canvases, coated canvases as well. Uh, again, do not use this on suede or untreated things. Suede has its own special cleaner that's also a foaming cleaner. Um, Kiwi actually sells one of those too, which I also really like. So you can go ahead and try that if you're going to clean some suede. I'm also, I also have all my other cleaning videos linked as well, where I show you guys how I clean suede and patent and other types of leather and um, products. But this is nice and foaming, so I'll just go like that. And then this has like the leather has grooves in it because it kind of has like a texture. This is just a horse hair bristle brush. And I'm going to use this to like push in the cleaner. Probably going to need much more. And then I'm going to put like let this sit on the coated canvas to make sure that it like soaks in there and loosens all the dirt and whatever has been sitting on this. So I'm just gonna let it sit for like a minute or two. You can also just let it sit by itself. You don't have to actually brush it in but I just like to brush it in so like in the beginning just to really get it into those grooves but then you can just like put on some more and just let it sit on top there and you, I like to wait until it almost like is all dissolved like that and now we're just gonna wait and I'll be back with you guys in just a few moments. Alright, I'm feeling a little impatient so I'm not gonna let it fizzle all the way down. But, this is also kind of like a good way to just to kind of like see. I didn't really push it onto the leather part because the leather part is not as dirty and cleaned a lot easier with just the... Cadillac leather lotion, but we'll also put it on here too just to see how much more of this we can clean up. But look at how much stuff that is lifting up. That is getting a lot cleaner. Look at how good, like, the leather looks. It's so much lighter and brighter compared to the other side. It's crazy how that looks. Like, this looks like a totally different color from that, so... It's fantastic. It's really doing a really, really good job. And I don't know how well the camera is picking it up, um, because sometimes, it, like, the camera tends to, like, auto-correct color. But you can see this side and that side is a noticeable difference in color. This side is so much lighter than this side. It picked up all that dirt and grime that was inside. And it almost has like, this side has like a weird tacky feel. It's just like dirty. This this side feels a lot cleaner. It doesn't have like a weird feel. Like a weird, I wish you guys could like feel the texture of this. But it is just a million times cleaner. Again, look at how light these, this is like the lightest part of the print. Look at that in comparison. Like, look at how amazing of a job that did. And I'm probably going to do just one more pass of this. Just to really make sure it's clean. Because this piece is just, um, I don't know. It's just, like, covered in dirt. And I just really want to make sure to try and clean off as much of it as possible. So we can get a nice, clean result. Again, I love also the microfiber. You can really use any sort of towel or um, fabric that you want, but I love the microfiber because it does have like that extra grip 
and it does a really good job of just like lifting the dirt. Look at that. I still can't get over it. It is so, so much cleaner. It's gonna dry it up a little bit. And then I always like to do, especially after I use um, that product, I always like to add back some moisture using um, the leather conditioner especially when it's actually leather so we're going to add back the moisture there and then we're going to add it back also to the coated canvas and then I'm going to buff it with a dry portion of the of the fabric and that's gonna give it kind of like a nice shine ooh look at that so again you can see such a huge difference in the two sides. This is so much lighter. You can see how dark the side is. You can't really tell sometimes until after you start cleaning it, but this is a huge, huge difference, especially, again, that leather. Oh, goodness. So, there you go. That is how I clean and condition the bags, but let me actually finish cleaning this whole thing, and I can show you how it looks. I'll also show you a side-by-side -side comparison of the back right here because then you can see a larger um, difference between the two when I clean them. But this is actually really great showing the leather and I think that the back is going to do a really good job of showing the difference in the coated canvas. Alright friends, now let us start working on the back which I'm really excited about and again we're going to use this little um, red line as a reference so we're going to do the right side we're going to clean the right side and we're going to leave the left side okay so actually you know what I think would be really cool is if I just do um, I'm going to clean this little part with just the conditioner and then I'm going to clean this whole side with the conditioner and the um, and the Kiwi sneaker cleaner and then we're gonna see like how much of a difference um, It's gonna have so you can apply it directly onto there and Sorry, like I know sometimes I'm really badly, but if you guys um, Have been here before you guys know how much um, I talk <laughs> But if you just use the leather conditioner, it is definitely um, a lot more elbow grease is required. But you can see, like, it is lifting the dirt. And that is also from the microfiber cloth as well, because that microfiber cloth does do a pretty... Good job. Okay, so that's like the pass I'm going to do for the whole thing. And then we're just going to go under this line and we're only going to clean this bottom right area. And we're going to leave this as it is. Okay, so let's go down here. We're going to do it just like I did on the other side. Add a bunch. And then we are just going to brush it in. And we're going to let it sit.
All right, now I'm just gonna let it sit and I'll be back with you when I'm gonna clean it off. All right, you guys, I think we waited enough time. I'm just gonna brush this in and make sure to get it in there. And then we start cleaning. <laughs> the most satisfying portion. Oh yeah, that I feel like that really... That cleaner, man, it just gets it every time. It's so good. I hope this is coming up well on camera. Um, I don't think this side is necessarily as dirty as the front side, but... And there you go. Look at how much cleaner this whole side is. Like, you can... I. If you see it in real life, I don't know, if it, is it coming up? I keep saying that, is it coming up on camera? But, um, this is definitely the cleanest. This is, um, slightly, like, still, like, dirty. And then this is a lot darker. Again, I'm sorry, like, I know the camera sometimes autocorrects, but that is how it's looking. And now what I want to do is I want to clean up this top part with this because this top part is probably the dirtiest portion of the bag because it's the part that you handle the most when you're holding the top because you're opening it up and you're holding it to open the zipper and all that stuff so let's hit up the top right here and there you go look at that like now that that side is clean it is such a huge noticeable difference in the two sides like this side is so much lighter than this side right look at that oh my gosh now I want to clean this um, portion of the bag and I'm gonna keep this portion um, dirty and then you'll see like I feel like this is the dirtiest size so I feel like when it's surrounded by how clean it is you'll really see how like the difference okay check it out like look at how much darker this little square is compared to the rest of it like it is Night and day, I feel like. And again, I hope it's showing up. I feel like it is showing up on camera because I can see it in the viewfinder. This little area, like look at how dirty it is compared to the rest of it. So much cleaner. Now, I don't know what this little black mark is. It's not coming out. And I feel like it's not like too bothersome. But we're going to try and... F oh, wait. It's coming out with my finger. What is that? We might have to use like something else to get that out, but check it out. I'm really happy. I think it looks really good. Um, let's just clean up that last portion right there and then um, we will clean up the last side on the front right here. This side, I feel like, is super drastic. This really shows up on camera. Like, you can tell super clearly that this side has not been cleaned at all. But let's get on to this side.
And there it is. It looks fantastic. Just cleaned up so nicely. That's what's so fantastic and great about um, Quoted Canvas too, is that it just cleans like a dream. Um, but now that that is all cleaned up, let us just add in some conditioner because whenever you're really using like a product like that to clean, um, you're, you're also still drying out the leather or the coated canvas or whatever it is. So you want to just add back that moisture. And because like the um, the conditioner does add kind of like a little layer of like a protective coating too. So like I said, um, not only does it help prevent cracks and drying out, it also does help um, prevent uh, color transfer. So that is fantastic. So once you get it on there, you can just like kind of like buff it in. And there's the back side. And again, ah, the front side. Crazy how that looks. Crazy. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and tackle this portion of the front of the bag and then let's see how it looks afterwards. I also did want to point out too that there's a little bit of looks like color transfer right here in the corner. So who knows if this will lift out or if it doesn't, color transfer is really tricky, especially when it's on coated canvas. Um, it's coated with like a PVC, and then sometimes that um, the whatever this is, like the stain, um, it'll sink in, and it's pretty much impossible to get out. So we'll see what happens. Though sometimes miracles happen. <laughs> go it is all done and it looks so much cleaner and so much nicer um again though that corner does have color transfer um probably not gonna come out but let me try one thing and we'll see what we can do okay got a little overzealous i already got it ready but i just have some nail polish remover and i have a q-tip i put some nail polish remover on it and let's see if we can get any of this out. Again, be very careful because you might accidentally lift the color that's on there. But the, I know this is definitely an older piece. So I'm apprehensive as if to as whether or not we're going to be able to do it. I don't see it lifting at all, so I don't think it's coming out at all. Let's try whatever these little pink things are. That's another thing that's not coming out. And then let's try this. Ah, that did come out. Okay, so that little dot did come out. But um, this, unfortunately, is probably never going to come out. And that's just going to stay that way. But... I think that the bag looks so super fantastic. I think we did a great job cleaning it up. And I am pleased as a button. So there you go. That is how I clean corded canvas and leather. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys learned something from the video. Comment down below if um, you have a bag that you want to try this on and if you did let me know how it turned out tag me on instagram it's hadrian just like it's spelled here stay tuned for more handbag rehabs cleaning videos um dyeing videos and if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up that always helps immensely i know the algorithm is going crazy so if you can help push the video with a thumbs up and maybe a comment down below it would be greatly 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 appreciated check me out on instagram as well um and tune in to today's vlog it's up at 2 and then a new video goes up tomorrow but early at 7 a.m and then another vlog is up at 2 as well so hope you guys enjoyed it see you guys again in that next video adios